Hey everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Parker Home for Wayward Sims. Now I brought little Brock home because he's gonna have something to eat before he goes to school. And like literally as he was running out of the park, he became playful again. And I'm like, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> but Cece is rather uncomfortable right now, probably because she's feeling a little grody. I don't know. Why don't you go get cleaned up? That sounds like a cool fun plan, right? Right? Hastings, what are you going to do? He's going to go kiss his wife. And then you know what you should do, Hastings? You should, most definitely. And I'm dead serious about this. Go take care of that garden. <laughs> most, most, most definitely. Now, she works in three hours. What does she have to do? She has to read a book. So we're going to do... We're going to do something here. We're going to have her... I didn't realize she has this nice porch out here. I should put some chairs. And they can come out and relax and do porch things, like cool porch people. Um, so it's better to have them complete these tasks. So I may not send her to work completely inspired. I might just have her read. Um, what's she gonna read though? Something fun. Something that's actually fun. Um... She's gonna read that. And you're all right, I definitely should have her write a children's book. So that's what she's gonna do. She's decided she's gonna write a children's book. She feels as though her time spent with Brock has sufficiently prepared her to write a piece of literature which would appeal to uh, to the average, the average child. She thinks she can do it. She believes in herself. You just drinking your milk there? How's it going, Ellen? Let's just sit down and quietly enjoy some milk. Yeah, yeah, milk, milk. What's he up to? Are you all tense? Try to calm yourself down in the mirror. Try to calm yourself. Try to calm yourself. Okay, Cece, now you have a limited amount of time. This should increase your fun. Well, well, you know, let's just take the most circuitous route that we possibly can. Sounds like a good plan. Excellent plan. So, just started. What can I have him do? He's gonna study hard. He was in pretty good shape before he went. Yeah, calm yourself down. Take it. Oh. What are you uncomfortable about? Is it because the floor needs mopping? Mop the floor. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he is already tense? Alright, fine. Make friends. How much more does she have to do? 25% done. Um, she works in an hour. I don't think we're gonna make it. This is hard with, like, this, with this many sims. Even though Eleanor and Hastings, we're not really focusing too much on this stuff. So you know what, Eleanor? Why don't you come help out? Look at this garden. This garden is a mess. Weed and water. You can do it. Look at all those weeds. Look at all those dandelions. Be careful. Don't let the seeds go. Don't let them get out in your beautiful yard. That would be bad. I love the strut she's got. Ugh, Brock. Don't be stressed, buddy. 50% done. Well, it's better than not having done any. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. No matter what. Pat on the back. Hastings, what are you doing? You wanna go play Blick Block? You know, do it. You do you, Hastings. You do you. My actual recommendation would be to come out and help your wife, but um, there's also your option. <laughs> Eleanor was like, no, this is awful. Cece's the only one who's not absolutely freaking out about the fire these days. Time to go to work. Time to go to work. 75% done. You know that's better than nothing. Seriously. Better than nothing. But she is going to write a children's book. She is. How you doing, Eleanor? She's like, all this for the sake of their stupid garden. Stupid, stupid garden. <laughs> you have to weed the carrots, too, Eleanor. Hastings, don't distract her. Why don't you just help? Help weed or help weed or help weed and water. Their relationship bar is just maxed. 
crazily maxed. Is that our maid? We need a gardener. They need to add a gardening service. That'd be awesome. It would make it way too easy, though. Jeez. It's because she's not headed. She wants to buy a toy and win a card game. You two should eat a lovely lunch and then play a card game together. So I've been screwing around in, um... In, uh, what's it? Yeah. You know. Yeah, I've been screwing around in... Actually, she's in decent shape. I'm going to have her work hard just to get her work performance up. Um, in build by, build by mode because I haven't really done much with it. And um, I'm kind of bad at it right now, but I'm pretty sure I'll get there. Pretty sure I'll get there eventually. That would be the uh, the qualifier there. Eventually I'll get there. <laughs> Alright, yep. Watering, weeding... It costs us 82 simoleons? What the hell? Have you guys been smearing feces on the wall or something? I'm just like, look, they're so angry. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep up that illusion there, Eleanor. Can't let them know. Can't let them know. You see what I'm talking about with the foodie sims, though? Eleanor eats just as much as, uh, as Cece, but Eleanor doesn't, uh, doesn't really gain weight when she, um, when she eats. And neither does Hastings. Like, they eat at a reasonable time. So does Brock. But Cece is a foodie sim, and I feel as though they gain weight more easily, which is kind of strange. Oh. <laughs> So you gotta start cooking some healthy options in this house to set a good example for Brock because eventually, eventually someone's gonna come in and want to inspect and see what everybody's up to, see what everybody's doing. Now, there should be some, I don't think there are actually, are there any leftovers? Um, open. There are leftover tofu dogs. What's she want to do? Oh, she's gonna grow some hamburgers. Here's a tip, don't set fire to anything. There we go. You reached video gaming level 3. Uh, Eleanor. What does she want to do? She wants to vent, I think. Are you going to just go stand over there? Complain about your problems. Go on, sit down. Oof. Smartest. Eat your burger. The hand of God has come down to say, eat your damn burger. Eat it. Now you've complained. You need to vent. <laughs> Just keep doing musical foods. Come on, sit down. There we go. So I guess that you're asking the question here then. Are you actually all that hungry? Are you actually hungry? <laughs> Having a nice discussion. Oh, he's home. Our buddy's home. Up, um, we're gonna wait a little bit to have you eat, and we're gonna have you try to calm down. How long before this goes away? Fifteen hours. Okay, he's feeling playful, so let's get him. It's got three hours left on feeling playful. Oh, she's trying to shoo him out. I don't know what to tell you, Eleanor. He's out the door and she's immediately like, nope, gotta pee. Walking all gloomily. Alright, so let's go. He's still relatively playful. 23 minutes. No, we have to, we have to extend that. So once it goes away, so let's have him have a quick meal of some yogurt. Because yogurt's good for you. Go have the yogurt. Eleanor, apparently you weren't all that hungry. Uh, admire yourself. And we're just gonna replace this. Just gonna eat through all that money. All that cushion that we have. Alright, so he's got a base emotion of happy. Isn't that handy? So he's gonna come on up here. And he's going to take a bubble bath. 
That's what I told him to do, right? Yeah, April clicks things. And Eleanor is going out to finally have that hamburger. There we go. Don't they have a stereo? I think that Hastings should start uh, start aspiring to some comedy stuff as well. He and his wife should have a comedy act. Alright, yeah, so we need to get this whole playful thing going so that we can complete... Play in the jungle gym while playful. And then we can have him come home and dance some more. We're gonna travel, buddy. Ready to do this? Let's do this. Let's go to the park. Um, we could take Eleanor and Hastings with him. Yeah, let's do that. They're in decent shape. They're not gonna keel over or anything. They're relatively youthful elders. They haven't been alive that many, many days. I think I turned aging back on. I have it for my, my just normal gameplay. I have it turned off because I want to see how quickly I can build skill at uh, completing those childhood aspirations because, boy, are they unreasonably difficult to complete. Um, Go play pirate. Ooh, there's a kid. You should meet the kid. What's the kid's name? Oh, it's Alexander Goth. Yep, go play pirate. Yeah! Who's this? Nancy Landgrab. Her hair is shiny. God. Now, that should satisfy. Oops. Yes. Perfect. And then he'll need to dance. But he can just keep doing that. Eleanor, you're in a park full of people. Go meet one. Is Hastings on his way home? Oh, he's going to throw that away. I didn't realize there's like a little brook over here. Hastings, you should say hello to Jenna Knox. Okay. Promoted to blogger. Let's read that. Cecilia has been promoted to blogger. She will now make an additional 7 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 32 simoleons per hour. She has also received the following bonus, 407 simoleons and the Milton word processor. Her next shift is Sunday at 11 a.m. And... yeah. Yeah! Go CC. Go ahead. And give him a heartfelt compliment. You need to you need to really schmooze people around town. You gotta convince them that you've made a good place for CC and Brock. And hopefully additional people that you'll be adding into the mix later. Can you goof around? <laughs> Give us typing tips. Yeah, give us typing tips. Increase our motor skill. Nancy's tense. <laughs> this is legitimately very, very cute. Okay. Don't play in the garbage. Go home. Go home. Go home. We met a few people. All of you should go home. Boy, Gownum. Run it out, Brock. <laughs> Aggravating conversation. Feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. Oh, apparently things didn't go so well with Miss Knox. Where are you two running? Like... <laughs> Oh, good. Hastings is coming this way. I was like, Hastings, where are you going? You can move a little faster, okay? This is as bad as the Stride of Pride. I'm so angry. I want CC to get started on that book. It's very exciting. 
really happy she got promoted, actually, because I didn't think that was going to happen today. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. As these loading screens get longer, it's going to be great in an LP sense. See, okay, here's another thing. On days when our mate has already come, if you have a mate, oftentimes it'll tell you that you had to pay them again. I don't like that. I think it must be a bug, but I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, what does he want to do? He wants to be mean. Eleanor is going to sleep. She's tired. Brock needs to do his homework. So actually, you've got a thing you got to do first, buddy. You've got to scour for memes. Oh, okay. Go do that. I really want you to do that, actually, just for fun. All right, so we've got the word processor. Let's get that jazz out. What's that? I don't need your tips. I don't, I don't need tips. No, please stop giving me tips. Thank you. Fun, reliability, um, inspiring. Oh, it's, it gives inspiring decor. Um, I'm gonna like rip this right out of Cece's arms. I'm like, nope. We're gonna go ahead and give you that. It's gonna be a little bit less fun, a little bit less uh, reliable, but we can enable that emotional aura and get a bonus to inspiration. So, um, what we're gonna do, web, we're going to look for new recipe ideas. And then we're gonna start writing our book. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. You still looking for memes? So he's got to get two skills to level four. We're closest with social. Um, but right now, what I do need you to do is I need you to um, not play a game. What I need you to... Yeah. Hmm. I need to get him inspired. <laughs> All right, go on upstairs. Eh, well, no, just do your homework without being inspired. It's fine. I prefer to have them be inspired, but it's a little harder for him to get there. So, oh my god, Eleanor sleeping in her own bed. I just realized this. Wow. Eleanor, big moves, big moves. Although Hastings has now decided that his best option is to go sleep in Cece's bed. Hastings, you know, I gotta, I gotta tell you, that's, that's a little inappropriate. It's a little inappropriate. Cece is just trying to do what she's got to do. So she is going to use this newfound patience and understanding to write a children's book. And she's dedicating it to Brock. Let's see. Okay, describe your creation. What is the name of this book? I hate you. This is a book about my hate for children. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just awful. So much hate. <laughs> okay. There she goes. Ah, a dib. There she goes. She'll get there though. Oh. Oh, it's a light. I was gonna say it looks like the fairy sparkles that there's that there are in the Sylvan Glade. Alright, Cece. Get cracking on that. Break up. Brock's getting sleepy and hungry. Hmm. And if he were focused, he would be doing that a lot faster. But he's not. So he's not. Cece has it going. She wants to buy an easel. We can. I don't see why we can't. We should put that out on the porch so you can paint the beautiful things that you see. Ooh. Ooh. That's not like what anybody would choose to do. <laughs> it's definitely a completely original thing. Oh, you can increase your gardening skill just by playing around with this tree. I did not realize that. Oh. Oh. There you go. There, now you've got an easel. It wants to be funny with Brock. 
See, she, I, I like to think that she's writing this, but she actually kind of means it tongue in cheek. And that maybe she thinks Brock will get it. Like, quote unquote, get it. But, I don't know. Some people might take it the wrong way. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, he's back to tense. Almost done, buddy. And then you can try to calm down. Homework complete. Yay. So, you're hungry-ish. Come on in here and have a quick meal. There we go. And then you got to pee. And then I think you should go to sleep. Sleep. And we got to get really work on it with Cece because she is literally the only thing keeping us uh, keeping us afloat. She doesn't know that yet. But her income is going to be what keeps, uh, what keeps pretty much Brock safe in terms of, of everything here. Because, you know, Hastings and Eleanor, they're like, ah, oh, we're just going to, we're just going to go out of our way to make ourselves comfortable for the next however many years we're alive. And then after that's all over, well, you know, it's no big deal. We'll be dead. Who cares about these yokels? We discussed this, Hastings. Stop crying at random. Oh, Sid, my dog is snoring. He's sleeping. Why don't you write some jokes? Ah. Ah. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, Cece's tired, but she's fine. She's inspired from looking up recipes. And uh, she got a promotion, which is always awesome. She wants to publish three books. Um... Oh, we're gonna run out of inspired. We're gonna run out of inspired. No. No. Hastings is level two in his comedy skill. Oh, I think that's is that the alarm? Yes, that's the alarm. I'd really just like to have Cece finish up this book. Yeah. Okay. What an achievement. Cecilia finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Cecilia can also publish it just by clicking on the mailbox. We're going to do that, although she may refuse because she's tired. Um, okay, we'll grant a moderate amount of royalties, small amount of daily royalties. We're going to go ahead and sell this one to the publisher. We need broader distribution for this amazing masterwork. Yeah, go ahead. Be cranky. That's fine. You just finished an awesome book that everybody's going to love. She collected everything from the mailbox. What did we get from the mailbox? Ooh, a postcard from Isa Paradiso. Ooh, and it's rare. We're going to put it up in her room because she needs the inspiring decor. And uh, Eleanor does not. She just doesn't. So, where can we put it? Um, just put it on the wall? Yeah! Yeah! Okay. So, there we go. There we go! Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a rating. I apologize if my alarm was going off for a little bit. I don't know because my headphones I have are new and they're, they're like noise canceling. <coughs> so I didn't quite hear it. But, um, yeah, no, thanks for watching. Please remember to give this video a like and a share, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Um, it just makes all the difference in the world. I know I keep saying it. We all keep saying it. All the YouTubers, we say it. it makes all the difference in the world. But it does. Look at Hastings. He's so, he's so thoughtful right now. He's like, oh, man. Oh, man. I need something that rhymes with fart. I'm so tired right now. All right, so thanks again, and I will see you next time. Bye.